some scientists up in Canada recently figured out that to support all the world's people at the North American level of consumption, we'd need four planets. In other words, we're three planets short. Everything that we buy or use in our daily life has an ecological wake that ripples out across the ecosystems of the planet. I start my day with a cup of coffee. That coffee started as 100 beans growing on a tree in Colombia, in an area that was once cloaked with cloud forests, a kind of tropical forest that's now among the most endangered types of tropical ecosystems. The beans were picked by a worker who made about a dollar a day. They were shipped on a freighter made of steel from Japan, out of iron from Australia, fueled with diesel from Venezuela. Then the beans were unloaded in New Orleans, where they were roasted over flames of natural gas piped in from Oklahoma. The beans were then loaded in a four-ply bag of three types of plastic resin and aluminum foil from the Columbia River system in Washington state. They were shipped across the country on an 18-wheeler, brought home from a grocery store in a brown paper bag made of Douglas fir trees from Western Oregon. They were ground in my kitchen in a grinder made in Taiwan with parts from six other countries. Then they were brewed in a coffee maker that was made originally in Germany out of parts from a bunch of other countries. The water came from the slopes of the Cascade Mountains and the electricity came from a dam on the Columbia River. 